John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Cyclops by Dunnable Guitars. Uh, I first heard about Dunnable when we did a rig rundown on Intronaut, which is Sasha Dunnable's band, and he was building these cool guitars for himself and his bandmates, and uh, now it's a cool line that all of you can buy. I'll tell you all about the guitar after I tell you about how we're recording this. Couldn't be simpler. I'm just plugging this bad boy with a clots cable directly into this Fender Supersonic. I'll be jumping between the clean and dirty channel, and as you can see, they're both flat. Um, we're mucking it with a Royer 121, R121 that's going to an Apsi Quartet and the Pro Tools. So, plugging in, blowing, and going. Now, why don't we talk, uh, get down to the brass tacks, the nerdery, the ingredients, all that jazz. We start with this. Um, it's a 25.5 scale, and as you can hear, I'm low and rumbly. I've got it tuned down a full step, and I've got the low string dropped all the way down to that low C. Next ingredients include jumbo frets, which help with those smooth bends. Then you've got, you've got these uh, tusk nuts, which are self-lubricating, very resonant. I'm a fan of tusk nuts, dig those. You've got these Grover tuners, stay tight. And uh, it's kind of an old school aesthetic with the butter bean ends open backed. Uh, work well. Uh, the body is mahogany, although I believe ash is an option as well. Comfortable double cut. Almost flat top, you know, flat top with a little bit of a, a curve right there for your arm. Um, one pickup, which is made by Dunhamel, this one I believe is the Slug Wolf, which is a, a beefy 13.8K uh, uh, Nico design, and it was built with this guitar in mind. And, you know, really, and, and, and it's also got, you know, controls are a simple volume and tone, Tone has a split coil on it, which is great. And the tone is really expressive. I'll just kind of show you what this pickup does. I dig, you get down there in the, in the single coil land. Really chimey. Put her down a full humbucker. Put some dirt on it. Anyway, cool. It's cool that you can do that much with one pickup. And let me drop her back up to standard. And show you kind of how this tone, this tone control is really expressive, you know. Thank you. 
It almost gives you that kind of cocked wah thing. So, very expressive. You know, getting back to kind of, you know, those 50s Les Paul Juniors. Same setup, lots of tones. And, and that's without the single coil switch. Other ingredients include this shallow bridge, uh, so you can dial her in in tune. And I kind of like this uh, trapeze deal. The cool thing about it with a trapeze, you get these sort of sympathetic harmonies, you know, rolling underneath it. So. To me, they just kind of, you sort of got that underneath it. It's a little more evident when you're in a clean tone, but with a dirty as well. It's almost like you can jack with that and help along that, you know, those, those overtones very cool i think what impressed me the most about this guitar is the setup is just like dead on sasha dunnable himself sets him up and he's really meticulous about it so this thing came out of the box just playing great um this one has an ebony fingerboard where you have options of rosewood or maple whatever your jam is this thing has as a little added bonus they throw in some strap locks to keep you from breaking this sweet neck so those are the basic details of the Cyclops by Dunnable. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com or get the magazine. If you're online, make sure you check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube. We have endless hours of time wasting stuff out there for you. This is John Bolger. Till next time. <laughs>